the later doctor hi guys how you doing welcome to a new bitcoin video and we got this pattern this uh extending triangle down here that's playing out the question is will this act as a reversal pattern uh today we are down a bunch yesterday we went down a bunch and we also had a live stream where i said you know do not sell the waterfall because waterfall always has a bounce or you know it just goes too fast on downside so what i mean by waterfall if you go to the one hourly time frame you'll see the waterfall down here uh this is a waterfall when you have a, some kind of move and then you you have this really you know speeding up or parabolic move towards the downside a waterfall towards the downside you don't sell that you know so yesterday when we were down here i said like if you were if you were to sell you know this move you know up here is the sell when you hit some kind of resistance and you fail to break the resistance and you start going on the downside that's the time to sell but when you're already down here like seven eight percent on the downside for the day uh you know the probability that this might you know ricochet towards the upside increases uh, towards the upside also we've been looking at uh, this uh, line on, on the uh, downside that's right now being created it's not perfect line so we technically still don't go all the way down to the line but but, you know it is good that we are creating some kind of higher highs up here now this one hourly time frame if you see this on the for example on the daily time frame you'll see that we are technically creating still higher highs and everything looks good and dandy right so far so good this uh, triangle that's playing out uh, you know the question is will this actually be the reversal triangle we talked about this in yesterday's video as well uh, and I showed you that uh, you know previously one of the most famous in uh, bitcoin in crypto world one of the most famous uh one of the, one of the most famous ascending triangles was one of the uh, this down here this started in 2018 2019 this is one of the most famous uh rising ascending triangles that broke to the uh, towards the upside so these ascending triangles can indeed work as a reversal pattern so you see here we had a you know uh, we had the top up here we had a you know bleed 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 uh we had a big move on the downside this is what we would like say you know capitulation move towards downside then you get into this you know ascending triangle or some kind of accumulation zone and then you pop towards the upside so what's happening up here might just be this uh, accumulation zone in you know playing out or uh, playing out so it, it is nice move towards the upside you know we bang uh, bang two uh, up uh, two times up here some kind of top we bounce right back down again but we are creating these higher highs but then we right back up to the top again uh, right now going towards downside so this this triangle is playing out it might be some kind of reversal triangle it is it looks uh, very nice and you, you might say but we do not have any kind of capitulation i don't i'm not quite sure about it this has been bleeding for a long time and this over here might have been capitulation and capitulation doesn't have to be you know 20,000 right uh, on the downside uh, so this might have been the capitulation you know candle towards downside towards some kind of uh, 32 33,000 levels down here and you know right now we are going to this uh, you know accumulation zone where we uh, if we break this towards the upside it's gonna be you know super nice super nice now the patterns are not here to tell us you know we can assume and we can you know try to project where this pattern is gonna break out once we start getting closer to it but patterns you know it's always 50 50 but it's not actually 50 50 because right now we have been going down for a very long time this is some kind of a you know consolidation zone it is ascending triangle it can be act as a reversal pattern towards the upside and that's what we're hoping for but until we actually break towards one or other side we do not know actually which way this will actually go now that said we also been talking about we still gotta continue talking about this uh, trend line over here because the trend line is technically broken it's really hard to see it any other way than uh, a broken trend line and we said once this trend line gets broken we uh, might get two of these you know dumps on the downside before we actually you know bounce towards the upside but this can also be something like this one two three you know and then continue to the upside we do not have to you know retest the trend line again because we did retest the trend line up here so we don't have to actually retest the trend line but oftentimes price tries to push it down several times before it, you know fails and you know reverses into an upside direction and that's what we're looking for right now we are looking for this uh, uh this uh, reversal up here we are looking for this reversal up here that you, you know where we break this uh, what's that around 44,000 45,000 level if you can break uh, again uh, above the 44 4, 45,000 level I think it's gonna be super nice uh, move towards uh, towards the upside and I think that might have been bottomed for this uh, you know this uh, you know 
what are we gonna call this? What are we gonna call this? This is some kind of, you know, capitulation move towards downside. Capitulation move, because uh, right now, you know, there is absolutely no uh, ec excitement about crypto. Everybody's out. My my channel is not performing. Nothing is performing. I'm looking at Twitter. I'm looking at Reddit. I'm looking at some kind of forums on Discord, Telegram. Nobody's talking about it. There is no excitement. The only excitement there is is about NFTs, and even that is going, uh, you know, uh, uh, slowly down. Uh, like I just saw on Norwegian television some NFT uh, getting sold for a half a million Norwegian crowns, like fifty thousand USD, uh, and you know they're talking with some kind of pig. I don't know and. Uh, that, that, that's the only thing that's right now having some kind of enthusiasm but most of people are right now out of crypto and with the war and everything that's happening nobody's following crypto so right now this might maybe be one of the best accumulation zones that we have right now that's happening over here and i just showed you this uh, rising triangle so this is gonna you know continue for a little bit more while at, at least the way i see it but if we start breaking this trend line on the downside it, this might uh, uh, this might continue on downside because the trend doesn't mean that you are going to continue towards the upside the trend means uh, you are breaking the trend okay so we are not going this speed on the downside more but you know we can go something like this maybe maybe you can you can still continue going but you you're going above the trend line so maybe they, there are some kind of uh, some kind of uh, some kind of channels up here where we just change the channel change the channel you know and uh, go, go downside 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 and so forth so forth there is a lot of options how this can play out but right now the most interesting the way we see it is this uh, is this uh, rising ascending ascending triangle and you know that's some kind of hopium that this will break towards the upside but until we actually break towards the upside we do not actually know which way this is gonna go now this move on the downside this uh, waterfall move on the downside that just happened uh it is quite bad move because it's it's because it invalidates entire entirety of this pump towards the upside now this pump might have been some kind of you know black swan event or something like that because of the war and you know we hit some kind of lows and you know suddenly you you, uh, you know everybody gets bullish and goes towards the upside but you know as soon as you hit some kind of resistance failure to break that resistance tells us uh, it's something is not quite uh, quite right something is not quite right but we are still in this uh, you know right ascending wedge and it's all all nice let's just post some moving averages up here so I'm gonna show you something uh, on the chart up here let's clear up everything just look at the moving averages so yesterday we also talked about Yesterday we also talked about these moving averages and we did not want to fall and you know close below the moving average. Unfortunately, we did do that. So I'm going to you know, give it this one more day today uh, to see if we can you know somehow manage to you know pump above these moving averages. If we manage to pump above the moving averages today, this is one of the most bullish moves that can actually happen on the chart, and that's gonna be super nice. If And if you fail to do that, uh, then I'm looking on, on the downside. I'm looking more on the downside because we have to get a back above these moving averages. So there is this line, of course, on the bottom uh, bottom side, that uh, trend line, right? And we are pretty close to the trend line. So right now, these moving averages will go something like this on the downside. And this trend line, the support line is holding us. So whatever happens in this triangle over here, whatever happens in this triangle over here, this is going to be the first sign of, you know, uh, weakness or the strength. So if you can get above the moving averages, the probability, that we are gonna you know uh, eventually get above the uh, rise ascending triangle towards the upside increases but of course if uh, these moving averages pushes us uh, below the support that's gonna be uh, quite quite bad move quite bad we might expect more downside so the way the way I see it, the way I see the uh, what I, I you know I'm not panicking on anything I'm gonna tell you when when it's time to panic but right now it's not time to panic right now we are just looking where this is gonna break out and uh, how this is actually gonna continue uh, I see a lot of uh, altcoins right now you know uh, a little bit in green Bitcoin is a little bit in green a little bit in red right now today is not happening we are just standing stand still uh, and uh, you know this is the moment when when it's just you know let's look because right now it's not time to sell you know you don't sell the supports you sell you know when the sport breaks and you know fails to get back above the sport that's the sell sell option also the selling is up up at the resistance up here right but the same way this isn't uh, some kind of you know buy option this might be a very good buy option right now but of course if it breaks on downside it's gonna be bad right so you buy the supports you sell the resistance not other way around and if you break the support you sell that support and when it gets uh, rejected as a resistance that's when you sell right but all over here nah, nah. so right now we are not selling we're not buying we're not doing anything we're just looking what's gonna happen next and uh, you know it's not the best move from yesterday we are right back down again but you know we are creating higher highs we are in something image we broke in the triangle you know 
it looks okay, you know, it might be an accumulation zone, you know, these accumulation zones can be a little bit tricky to, to, to figure out, and especially on an emotional level, because you're always thinking like, oh man, this can always break up, because it, you are sitting on support, it can always break down, but you know, that's, that's life, that's life. Hit the like button if you liked the video, see you tomorrow, same time, same place, bye-bye.